What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I just wanted to make a really short video on the three different uh, match types you have for the words. And then in the next video, I'll go over um, a particular one that's actually not listed in here, okay? So, um, like I mentioned in the previous video that I will go over uh, the different types because these are important to know. First of all, for your costs, you have different costs. And second of all, for the quality of your clicks, okay? And you can actually separate out and you can create different keywords with different match types. So I can create one, for example, keyword match type, diabetes. Okay, let's not show that message again. I can create one under broad, one under exact, one under phrase match type, okay? I can do that. And I can test them out and see how well they work, okay? So, um... Let's see, so let's start with the first one. So the broad match type. Actually, let me start off with the exact one. So the exact match type is what it is. It's, it's an exact, exact match. So for example, diabetes. If I make this an exact match type, and it has those little uh, square brackets surrounding it, basically, in order for my ad to show up, people need to type in diabetes exactly. There cannot be anything else. They can't type in how to cure diabetes, how to get rid of diabetes, how to whatever with diabetes, only diabetes. Only then will my ad trigger if I make it exact. One thing to note about exact, your, uh, your, your cost will be slightly higher with exact match type. The exact match type is the most expensive followed by phrase followed by broad, okay? So keep that in mind, but it does get, it, it, it does kind of, narrow down on your audience very specifically, right? Because you you reduce all the chances of someone coming in and sh opening your ad that doesn't really want to know about it as exactly as you want them to, right? So that's that. The next one is phrase match. And what phrase match is, is now it's got those little quotation marks. Phrase match means as long as that word is within a phrase, my ad will show up. So if I say something like buy diabetes plan or the greatest diabetes plan ever, my ad will show up because that word diabetes is in that sentence. So phrase match type is, is about in between, um, but you, your, your impressions will be a bit lower, right? And sorry, by, by in between, I mean for costs, right? It's in between broad and um, exact, uh, but you, you, you are apt to get less impressions, right? Just like you are for exact. So for broad match types, if I make it broad, I would not recommend putting it on broad. Sorry, let me go here. So what broad is, is, is not only does it include exact phrase and broad, uh, but what it does is basically any terms related to this term will trigger my ad. So people that type in you know, I mean, whatever's related to, to diabetes, I don't know off the top of my head, maybe, maybe, maybe other, you know, like, like type two, something, whatever that that's not related to diabetes, my ad will show up and people can click on my ad and that's not going to be very effective, right? Because I don't want people searching for something other than my specific keyword to land on my ad, but your cost for this is the lowest, okay? And one thing you could do is use broad match types and negative keywords. And negative keywords basically make sure that certain keywords don't trigger your ad no matter what. So if I say, if I say, for example, diabetes, and I don't want people typing in diabetes diet, I can create a negative keyword diet. And that way, when people type diabetes diet, my ad won't show up. It will only show up if they type something in like diabetes. So you can take advantage of that and you can use broad, but then add in a bunch of keywords to ensure that your ad will always stay relevant and be clicked on by the relevant people. Now, one thing to keep in mind with broad is you can have the craziest stuff typed in on the search bar. People can just type in crazy stuff that you never even thought would be related, but it is. Uh, I've had it happen, so I really wouldn't recommend broad unless you're willing to sit on your computer all day, every day, and literally spam negative keywords all day long, because that's what you're going to have to do. You will get a ton of impressions, but they will not be high quality at all. People will type in, like I said, the craziest stuff in there, so be very careful if you're doing it. So that's about it for those match types. There is one more that is not listed in here, 
I did want to create a separate video on that so that people searching specifically for that can just look at the video because in this one I'm covering only the main three, right? So I, I hope that helped uh, explain what those are so you can use those. So like I said, maybe create different campaigns or different you know ads or ad groups um, with the different settings and see which one gives you the best results. And if you type in broad actually, when we go to dimensions and when we go to search term, we can actually see what triggered our ad to be clicked, what search term exactly triggered that, okay? So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you have, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.